morning, everyone, and welcome to SNN. Today is Wednesday, June 14th, 2017. It is a Hawk Day, which means star periods 2, 4, and 6. It's Flag Day today, so our question is, who is most often credited for stitching together the first American flag? First and last name. Call 78293 with your answer ready. Go. Go. Guests are here. Get, our guests are here in the studio with us. Meet Andrew. And this is Hannah. Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Hannah. Hi. Good morning. Welcome to our school. How many students are in the group? I guess about 20. Cool. So tell us a little about your school. Okay, so our school is uh, pretty small. It's about 300 students. And it is in the Beijing. 300 students. That's only about how many we have in our sixth grade. Great. <laughs> What has been your favorite part about visiting America? Uh, for me, uh, definitely riding a huge cars. <laughs> and for me, it is speaking and visit and sightseeing. How much longer are you here? Um, I guess up to Sunday. Cool. Thank you. How do you say thank you in Polish? Dziękuję. Dziękuję. It was great. <laughs> Our guests go back to Poland uh, on Sunday morning. You have a few more days to visit them, with them, and ask them about life in their country. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Dancers of the 8th grade. Trials continue through Saturday the 17th at CHS. Visit the team website for forms and information. Go to chsdance.wixsite.com slash home. Or see Mrs. Blanchard in room 222. Class of 2021. It appears as though everyone in 8th grade is twinning today. If you ordered clothing and were not here at lunch yesterday to pick it up, please check with Mrs. Williams in the main office. Also, if you would like class of 2021 clothing and did not make a purchase, another order will be placed soon. Order forms are in the main office with Mrs. Williams. The clothing orders are due this Friday, June 16th to who? Mrs. Mrs. Williams. Williams. On the radar for today and next week, Today is the very last Hawk Mart of the year. Spend those Hawk tickets today. Spend them while you got them. Friday is the last day for Flex Exploratory. Also on Friday, we get lunch outdoors. I hope the weather is cooperative. Next Monday and Tuesday is the Fitness 5K Fun Run. Again, I hope the weather is cooperative. <laughs> the end of the year band concert is next Tuesday at 7 p.m. at the CHS Theater. Speaking of band, shout out to Miss Sappington and our awesome Skyridge Choirs for last night's performance. And this message from Mrs. Sappington. Over 200 students performed at last night's event, and a record number of students had solos or played instruments. Over 70. Mrs. Sappington is so very proud of all her students, but wishes to give a special shout out to all her 8th grade students. She will miss them very much. More events next week. 7th graders go on the Sternwheeler trip on the 22nd. And then, the 23rd is the 8th grade completion ceremony, followed by Big Al's. Which takes us to the last Monday of the school year, the 26th. Summer! summer. At long last. But before we summer, we yearbook. Tell me more. Yearbooks get passed out on the 21st. Classes will have an opportunity to sign yearbooks next week. Wow! We have time to set aside in the schedule to sign yearbooks? Just when I think I've learned everything about middle school. Signing yearbooks is a big deal. Well, they cost a lot of money. It should be a big deal. Skyhawks have spent a lot of money on their yearbooks, and the yearbooks represent a lot of time and work spent getting the details just right thanks to the flight team. So you're saying show some respect? Yes. It's a Skycode thing. Here, watch this video. It's about yearbook etiquette.
so put away all markers and find your favorite pen. Also, common courtesy, ask someone to sign your yearbook. Spend some time thinking about what you want to say. Write in spaces, not on faces. Think about grandma. As the filter for what you write. Again, distribution starts one week from today. Does Miss Pappas, op Miss Pappas's offer for a cartwheel still hold? It does. She said we need to get those books back by June 21st. We need to be 75 or less. Good to know. Summer checkout started Monday and it's going strong for 6th and 7th graders with a clear account. Finally, something we get. And then 8th graders, not so much. Let's go into the Wayback Machine one year. Okay, what do you have in mind? Last year, at this time, we reported that the Banfield Pet Hospital opened. You know, the beautiful new building on Mill Plain near Clark College. Yes, the Banfield Animal Hospital headquarters. It opened on this day last year. It is twice the size of the event center at the Clark County Fairgrounds. And consumes only half the energy of a typical office building. And is more dog friendly than just about any other workplace. Dogs go through a training and they earn a certain color leash. Like green if the dog is green light, go and ready for everyone. The green, the green lead says the dog is socialized and gets along with everyone. Yellow if the dog needs a little more time to warm up to people. But a dog can graduate from yellow to green as it gets accustomed to working with others. Some of our very own SNNers went on a field trip to Banfield a couple weeks ago. Here are some of their pictures. Check this out. A chandelier made from dog bowls. How awesome is that? Also, Flex Editors really went to the dogs and met some up close. Their conference rooms are named from dog breed and cat breeds. Plus, they have an awesome cafeteria area. And furniture that's at a good height for animals. The stairway is really a ramp, which is perfect for your pets. Flex NN is working on some promotional videos for Banfield, which they will post to their Flex NN channel before the end of the year. I hear they got to interview a few veterinarians, too. What is it called when a cat wins a dog show? Hmm, I don't know. A cat has trophy! <sighs> cool news for our Skyhawks in Banfield. Foodie news. It's Strawberry Shortcake Day. The most famous dessert made with shortcake is Strawberry Shortcake. Sliced strawberries are mixed with sugar and allowed to sit an hour or so. Until the strawberries have surrendered a great deal of their juices. The shortcakes are split and layered with strawberries, juice, and a whipped cream like an Oreo with fruit. Strawberry shortcake parties became popular in the United States around 1850 as a celebration of the coming of summer. The, 20, the 2012 Pasadena Strawberry Festival featured the world's largest strawberry shortcake. The cake used 3,240 pounds of strawberries and 280 pounds of whipped cream icing. That is a lot of calories, Jacob. Do you realize what that will do to your body? Strawberry is the most widely known shortcake dessert, but peach, blueberry, and even chocolate shortcake are made along similar lines. It is also common to see recipes where the shortcake itself is flavored. Coconut is a common addition. The term shortcake often re refers to shortbread in the UK. Our phone in today. There isn't any sound evidence supporting the story. At the same time, there, is, there isn't any to disprove it either. She is considered the first seamstress of the American flag. Her name was Betsy Ross. Since 1777, the design of the flag has been officially modified 26 times. For set 47 years, the 48-star flag was in effect. In 1959, the 49-star version became official on July 4th. President Eisenhower ordered the 50-star flag on August 21st, 1959. In 1916, President Woodrow Wilson issued a proclamation declaring June 14th as Flag Day. President Wilson stated, It is the anniversary of the day upon which the flag of the United States was adopted by the Congress as the emblem of the Union. Happy, Happy flag, flag Day. Day! Good job to Aria from Wells class. A treat in fake cash will be delivered to you after the show. That is the news for Skyridge Middle School. Where you can believe in yourself, be you. Today's thought, the American flag is the symbol of our freedom, national pride, and history. Have a winning Wednesday, Skyhawks. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Remember to follow the code, the Sky Code. Be safe. Be respectful. Be responsible. And be kind. This has been Jacob. And Nick. At, at this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready, Ready begin. begin.